Let me help you to understand why today is very, very important. Because you could miss it. If you don't understand the black experience, if you don't understand and empathize with the experience of black people in this city and in this country, then you could miss this moment and not think that it's very important. So let me just take a minute to understand this moment. When we were enslaved and when we were brought into this country, they took our name, they took our religion, they took our language, all right? They took our women. That's right. They tried to divide us. We no longer was a family. And they called us niggers. Yes, sir. We had to overcome that. Right. It wasn't given to us. We struggled for that. Thank you, Nat Turner. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Gabriel Possum. All right. Thank you, Denmark Vesey. Yes, yes, and so many, many others. And because of that struggle, we were able to sustain, and so they no longer called us niggas. But then they called us Negroes during Jim Crowism. So it was another level of enslavement, different but the same. But we had people who struggled against that. They were pro providing leadership for our people, so we fought against that. We struggled against being called Negroes, and we established ourselves who we were. And so the powers that be had to stop calling us Negroes. So in the 20th century, 1950, 1960, they started calling us minorities. But it wasn't like a numerical absence or presence. It was minority meaning inferior. Yeah. Ah. Minority meaning you're not measuring up. Right. So we were, quote, the minority. Yeah. But we struggled against that. We did all that we had to do, Sonny Carson among them, to establish our own identity and to establish and work for self-determination in our community. So all through the struggles for black people in this country, the key principle has been self-determination. 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 And so, what does that have to do with today? Well, we understand that if we're not allowed as a community, once we go through the legitimate process, once we go out and get names on a petition to bring it to our community board, once you go out through the community structure of that community board, once it comes to the full community board and they negotiate and they talk and they vote on it, and then they send it to their council person, and then the councilman begins the legitimate legal process up here in the city hall. And we go through that process that's been going on for years. And then something strange happened. They want to change the process. The committee chair can't vote out of co her committee. Unprecedented for the first time since I've been here that a committee chair said, no, this is unjust. I will not support taking Sonia Bubadika Carson out of the other 52. And the members of the committee voted against their chair. That's never happened. Councilmember Helen Foster, you're an independent, courageous black lady, and I address you. I commend you All right. for your action. So understand, what is happening here is not just disrespect for Sonny Carson. Oh no, it is disrespect for the struggle of black people. That's right. You are infringing upon that which is sacred, All our right. self-determination. That's right. All through history, our struggle has been for self-determination. If you tell us who we can't honor today, you'll tell us who we cannot worship tomorrow. That's right. We cannot allow you to tell us who our heroes are. You cannot right. tell us who we can worship. We fought that fight. Right. That was the fight in slavery. Right. That was, we fought that. All right. We will not fight that again. We're not going to move back. We're going to move forward. Thank you, black people, for understanding this. All right! Yeah! yeah. 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 I wanted to set the groundwork so people will understand what this is all about. I don't want you to think, as deserving as Sonny Abubadika Carson is, that this is just about Sonny Carson. It's not about the subject, it's about the predicate. It's about the whole. The whole is greater than any of its component parts. We represent the whole, we represent the leadership in the, in the black community, and we say we will honor our own heroes no matter what anybody says. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. There is black leadership from throughout Brooklyn and beyond, some of whom will bring uh, comments before you. 
uh, this afternoon after which we will 